Okay, so we're gonna work on the Spear Fight Orange Juice recipe. With this, you're gonna need <clears throat> two components, the alginate bath and the calcified juice. First, we're gonna start with the alginate bath. All right, for that, we're gonna need a thousand grams of your distilled water, five grams of your sodium alginate. All right, now this is all by weight. Now, sodium alginate will trap in a shitload of air bubbles. I should probably not say that, right? Of air bubbles, so you don't really want to use a blender for this. You want to go nice and slow, and you're going to use this little sifter that we got, just a tap at a time. A little bit at a time. If you put this in a blender, it'll take three days for all the air bubbles to work itself out. So take your time. You'll do that for maybe about five minutes, you'll have your alginate back. Even though <clears throat> you haven't put it through a blender, you're still gonna form air bubbles. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a china cap and two chinois and run. Here's one we already have prepared, right? You're gonna run it through probably 10 times. Same thing. Do that about 10 times. That'll kill most of your air bubbles. What air bubbles it doesn't kill, you're gonna go over to the cryovac machine. Do a little at a time. And that'll force all the other air bubbles out. So at that point, now you have your alginate bath. Alright, so now come over here. Alright, so now we'll work on the juice portion. So we're going to need 200 grams of orange juice concentrate, 100 grams of distilled water, 85 grams of sugar, 15 grams of citric acid, and 6 grams of calcium lactate. So the way we're going to do it, we're going to take the sugar, the water, and the citric acid, and we'll just heat that up till everything dissolves. We're not going to do it for this demonstration because we don't need to. We already have some prepped up. So once we get this attempt and that runs clear, all the sugar and citric acid has uh, dissolved, we're gonna add the cold orange juice concentrate and the uh, calcium lactate, all right? Then we'll get that in an ice bath till it gets down to temp. Once it's down to temp, which is around 40 degrees, somewhere around there, just where it's not hot, we're gonna put it in a, into a sauce gun. All right, we're gonna take that sauce gun we're going to fill up some of the reservoirs in our demi-sphere mold. Juice, you want to grab your thing? And we're going to pop this in the freezer and freeze it till it's solid. I mean solid, solid. Okay. That's just the uh, alginate bath that we put through the cryovac machine. So here's one of our frozen demi spheres. I'm gonna pop it in. Now, the most important part about this, you gotta keep it moving. That will freeze to this glass and it'll stick to any of the other demi spheres. So you could probably do two or three at a time, but no more than that. But you wanna keep it moving, then set yourself a timer. One minute. That's all you need. You can go ahead and pop that back in the freezer pictures. Yeah, not you, man. <laughs> Alright, so while we keep this moving, we have a water bath here. That's just going to clean off any of this extra sodium alginate. Now, if we would have waited any longer, it would have stuck to the bottom of this and popped before you could do any. These are kind of delicate, that's why we decided to do this little video. Because it's nice to be able to put this on a menu, but it's a pain in the ass. So if we have a little tutorial, you can't really mess it up. That means you, Tevin. Alright, 
So we've hit our minute. Let's kill it before it beeps. Beautiful. We're going to remove it. Pop it in our, our water bath and keep it moving for a second or two here. It will stick to the bottom again here. Alright, so that's basically the finished product. How we're going to store it for service, we have these little two ounce ramekins. We're going to fill it up with just enough apple juice to cover it. And then there you go. That's it. That's going to go on our salmon. So from beginning to end, now we'll teach you this in person, but you always have this little tutorial to go back to. Alright, that's it.